What could be done at this football club, do you think, Paul, to, to reconnect to the United fans? Uh, I, I'm not sure there, there ever will be a connection with these owners. Um, and I don't, think that, uh, I don't think that's just this club. I think it's every club who started with billionaire owners, what we brought into, in, into it, for them to have a toy, really, a toy to make money with. Um, now, this is a great club as well. To actually have that connect with the owners, because I was talking about before, the young players this club has, mm. the young local lads coming through academies, it's a great chance for that connection. But as long as there's billionaire owners from America, from other countries, there's never, ever going to be a connection. Look at Manchester City, Arsenal, Tottenham, Liverpool. Is there a connection there? I don't think there is. I don't think there ever will be. And I, don't th I think we have to stop pining for that. The most important thing for the fans now is what happens on the football pitch. And you look at the last four or five years for Manchester United, the resources, the money that this club has had, and it's not won a trophy for four years. Yeah. It, it's absolutely ridiculous. And look, the Glazers, they, they chose a man to represent them, to, to run the football club, um, who was brilliant at making money. Funnily enough, exactly what they all want. this is about, yep. exactly what they want. He was brilliant at that. But has the football side been neglected through that? I don't think Ed was a... I don't think he is a football man. I think the man before, David Gill, great again, making money commercial, but he was a football man. He knew football. He knew what the club needed. Yeah. Now, we've had five or six years since the manager went choosing the wrong managers, not giving them time then to, to produce teams, choosing the wrong type of players for this football club, um, which, is, which has been disappointing. Um, and it's all down to the ownership of billionaire owners who are greedy and just use this club as a toy to make money. And you don't think there's an answer to that? I mean, everyone's celebrating the fact there might be a new owner coming in at Arsenal. How do we know what, what he's going to be like? He's another foreign billionaire that's talking about buying a football club. Why is exactly that suddenly the, the answer? It's exactly Why are we celebrating thing. that? Well, it is celebrating. And I don't think Arsenal's players, should, uh, Arsenal fans should celebrate. He's getting interest by mentioning Burkamp, Vieira, Henri. The, the same old trick, it won't be any different. Yeah. He, he's just a toy. He's, he's a money man, he's a businessman, he wants to make money. And this is what they'll do. And they'll, they'll come to clubs like this, they'll go to clubs like Arsenal, and they'll make loads of money. But most important, look at Arsenal, where are they 10th in the league? Yeah. Ridiculous. Look at this club, not won anything for four years. OK, they're getting on the right track now, I think, I hope. Mm. I think Ollie's done a fantastic job to bring this club Almost back to challenging for, for silver. Well, they are. They're getting to semi-finals out there. They've still got to go that extra bit. They're second in the league. They're almost getting to where they should be. They're not far away. And it masks a lot. When the, when the football's all right, the team are winning trophies, who cares who the owners are?